in our lives. May the Lord walk you up with your people. May you grant us all what we need. May you grant us protection. May you speak unto us this hour. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Let us appreciate our uh, God. And then we get seated. Praise God. I'm so humbled to be here to share the word of God. I cannot take it for granted because it is by his grace. I'm also grateful to God because he has saved me. This far I can confess and say Jesus is my personal savior. Since I got saved, I will not say many years, but all the time I have been experiencing the grace of God and the presence of God in my life. To the strangers or to the new, those who have to the visitors, I'm Solomon Kamungura. I'm serving as an archdeacon in Gatodo Archdeaconary. I'm grateful to God because of the chance that he has given unto me to come and the great enough grace to stand on behalf of our vicar, Reverend Samson, who is still recovering. I also appreciate all those who are watching us online. You are great people. You have sat all the others, FMs, and uh, anything else so that you can join with us in our FB and also our YouTube. In, uh, we thank God. Today, I want to share with you about work. In our diocese, the theme of this month is work. And out of that theme, I have our sermon theme that is perfecting our work. That is our theme today. Brothers and sisters, if there is something that we struggle every day is to make sure that our businesses are doing very well. It's to make sure that we are getting in our jobs on time and sometimes getting home very late. Everybody who is seated here and those who are watching us, this is our daily routine of waking up very early, now sometimes sleeping very late, trying to pull all the ends together so that our life can be able to be a good life. It is a desire of every person to have a good and a perfect life job, to have a perfect business so that at the end we'll get where our secretary was talking about money working for us rather than us working for money. Now how to get there it is a journey but my brothers and sisters it is very much possible. The first thing I want to emphasize is that it is God who gives us chance to work. It is not because of how qualified we are, because there are people who are looking for a job and applying, and they have stayed for years, and according to their papers, they are qualified. But by the grace of God, you have somewhere to go and get your salary or a profit. And therefore, when we talk about work, we talk about the grace of God, which is so much sufficient to us that we are getting somewhere and work. It is good to ask also a question. Why are you, why are we alive today? In terms of work, we arrive 
we are alive to work. Is that not true? But the question is, are we aligned ourselves according to the divine calling, to the purpose that the Lord has kept us to be, to do? Are we aligning ourselves according to our gifts, according to our professionals, according to what God wants us to do? And that is a hard question because sometimes we fight whatever we are doing. We are just doing it because of money, but not because it is our passion. It is what we desire. We are alive. We never died when we were born. Neither that we were born still bad because God had a good plan for us. And one of the good plans that we talk about and God has for us is to work and to have joy in our life. The other thing that I want you to note when we talk about work is that there is nothing great joy than doing what is light according to God's plan. Bwana asifiwe. Unapofanya chenye ulitua na mungu, there is a lot of joy. Is that not true, brothers and sisters? There is a lot of joy when you are doing what you suppose to do according to God's plan. If we come to our text today, I want to pick just one or two things from our texts. In our epistle reading, Paul is talking, as a believer, live like a believer. Whatever you are doing, do it like a, a believer. Whichever work you are doing, do it like a Christian. It is getting worried when you find somebody who is doing, uh, working somewhere, but he is not behaving or living or working like a believer. And therefore, brothers, it is our, our reminder today that as we continue living and working, we live and work like believers. In our, our second reading, it is Jesus Christ telling his disciples that you go all over the world, all the corners of the world, as you proclaim the word of God. In the Kishwahili service, I was reminding those who are in that we are all called to go to, go to all over the world to talk the word of God. How? You may be an accountant and you are, you, are, uh, you are employed in a certain uh, institution or organization. You may think that you are there to get a salary or to earn your daily bread. But what is attached there, according to our reading today, it is a chance that God has given you to interact with one or two people as you work as an accountant or a teacher, whichever professional you are, so that you can tell that somebody about the good news of our salvation. So when God is talking, going all over the world, it is proclaiming the word of God wherever we are working. Whatever we are doing, it is a chance that God has given you to share the good news. Those who are seated in this and even those who are watching over, the, the, uh, over through the online. If you are next to somebody, just ask somebody, when is the last time you shared good news with your customer? Hello? I know here we have businessmen and women with hardwares. When the customer comes, do you take advantage of as you negotiate the price? Unarusa, maneno, au neno moja hapo, ya? Mungu anaokoa, Yesu anaokoa. Today I want you as you go home, as you go back to that business, you realize that that is a chance God has given you to proclaim Good news. As a motorbike rider, 
and you are carrying a, a, a customer can you see the word si tunapatanga wakiwa na story nyingi uh, uh, between the rider and the i wish we can be taking those advantages so that we can be able to proclaim the word of god all over the world i know those who are sitting here even those who are watching us maybe you travel from one country to another those are chances that the lord has given you as you work as you travel as you go to those jobs in other countries it is a chance god has given you to proclaim the word of god because you are a believer live like a believer because you are christian live like a christian and take advantage so that you can be able to move on there are those people who are blessed with the job that they travel from juta to nairobi every day now you know you feel very much comfortable to sleep when you are traveling i challenge you god has given that job that you can travel every day so that you can preach and tell your neighbor in your in a matatu god loves you si umurize last time ulitembea ulienda na na mats na metro hapa kuna kitu uliambia neighbor au ulikuwa unamwangalia hivyo and you feel unsecure because you are seated to somebody even the stone face it is a challenge that if you are given a job it is a chance that the lord has given you to proclaim the word Hello if you are a shopkeeper can i talk to the those christians that are working in a, our soko here market hi hi to you it is a opportunity that god have given you as a shopkeeper as a person who sells in the market to share the word of god the work you are doing is just a catalyst to proclaim the word of god bwana asifiwe now i want to take you through just five points how you can perfect your business how you can perfect your work because our theme today is perfecting our work point number 1 is daily devotion always before you get out to go to work it is good to have fellowship with the one who created you with the one who has granted you grace to have your job when we talk about daily devotion we are talking having fellowship whether it is 5 minute 10 minute that minute in the morning having a fellowship with the one who cares about you with the almighty with the creator with the one who will protect you as you move from your destination to the other de- des- destination every morning my dear brother and sisters it is good to perfect your your job or your work through devotion hello when we talk about devotion we are talking about reading of the word having time to pray having time to meditate having time to repent having time with god and so wherever aba unafanya kazi it is good to have devotion with god bwana asifue the second point is about be a person who can be visionary a person who can see future if you are employed the first day you reported as a wise and a person who want to perfect his job you need to see the exiting date the date that you be retiring that date that you be told get out from our organization you are getting to old toward you are becoming irrelevant you are becoming tired you need to be a person who sees future 
if you cannot see future about your business whatever you are doing will never grow and you do not come to the perfect it is through seeing our tomorrow you will be able to to do the calculation uh, accounts in a good way it is because of seeing tomorrow you are you avoid this thing in afanyagwa na wa mama wetu na ladies inaitagwa in pass by or pass by whichever because you can see the growth of your business you can see being lifted from that hapo crowd to be uplifted on a high ground because you are see tomorrow and so if you want to affect your job be a person of vision a person who can cross his eyes and say this is the way that i want to go this is what i want to achieve this is my destiny if you can't see about that one it will be very hard for you Number three, be a person of good character. Hello. Whichever business you are doing, wherever you are working, be a person of good character. Try to relate with others. Be a person of respect. There are people who are working but they don't have respect upon the your bosses, upon the supervisors upon the your colleagues and you are thinking that you are perfecting your your job you are lying yourself be a person of good conduct be a person who is always justice you have justice in you tuko pamoja ebu niulise hii na mnikubali niulise kwa Kiswahili The last time uriada na gari au kabebwa na max makanga akalipisa akakuacha ukitoka ulisema nini hata nimeona mkono wa Mungu wewe uriada kama mwizi hello do you think that that makanga woke up very early with the driver so that akuje uagukie As a person with a good character you can say to the driver to the makanga and say excuse me who janiri pisa Is that okay because the owner of that matatu he sacrificed himself or herself to buy a matatu to come and make money he is in the business and then na wewe unadoea hapa unasema umeagukia hujaagukia haikuletwa kwa barabara tuwe tunaagukia then remember the other scenario we are businessmen and women customer akakuja akanunua akasahau change how do you say it at leo nimeagukia kuna hujaagukia hiyo ni pesa ya wenyewe tuko pamoja if you can be able to reach out to that person if that person comes tomorrow Can you remind this person that you left you are church these are the ways to perfect our businesses working with a lot of justice be always diligent always be a person who do hesabu vizuri accounts vizuri so that we can be able to move on number four, be a servant a person who cares about other people you feel with those who are going through hard times you stand with those neighbors you stand with those colleagues that are passing hard times sio ukiacha hapa unasema ebu aone hivyo ameona ni kwa sababu alifanya my dear christians it is time to perfect our works through being good servants people who cares people always think about the other persons that is how you be able to pull the customers that is how you be able to relate with those who need what you are selling 
That is the way you will be able to get customers. Is that okay? And the last thing is understanding your divine calling. Define purpose. That you know who you are and what you are to, to do. There are so many people, whatever they are doing, it is not what they were called to do. I'm just imagining following the hand of a doctor who was to be a mechanic. Hello? Following the heart of a doctor who was to be being the hands of a nurse who was supposed to be something else, like what? I don't know. Hiyo maswari utaulishwa na utakuwa unachekere. Unauliza, is this surely a nurse? But because she is working for money, for money ah, she is comfortable. But in terms of a, 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 a identifying who she is, she is only there because of money. This is why even our country to grow becomes very hard. Where the civil servant and the public servant, they just go to the office and leave a court and go and do their businesses. Because whatever they are doing in that office is not what they were caught to do. This is why we are suffering. It is, we are suffering because we have politicians who are supposed to be something else. But because of money and whatever in the name, they are in the, in, the, uh, in the career of politics. We have executives who are called to be anything else. But because of one thing or another, they found themselves in that office. We will never stop suffering. I wish we can get to a point to understand who we are and we only do the exact thing that we are supposed to do. And the name of the Lord will be glorified because he has called us to do according to our gifts, according to our calling. My dear brothers and sisters, I think those are just five few points that you can consider when you are dreaming and planning for perfecting your work. And doing this, it will take us on higher ground. The defined quarry is living as per your gifts. It's living as per your purpose. It is least trying as much as possible to master who you are. Self-mastery. So that you can be able to move on. It brings a lot of joy in our lives when we are working and doing what is uh, uh, what we are called to do. It is upon you to work out to understand yourself. It is upon me to understand who am I. This is when, uh, why we are even suffering when we follow in the hands of uh, a priest or, or a pastor who is not called. Now they are there. They are there. They are there outside. And they are not caring. What they are caring is, have you given what they need? May the Lord help us that we perfect our jobs, that we perfect our businesses, that we perfect our works. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm.